what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and while you're at it smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it also hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video be careful down in the comment section of the videos a lot of spam a lot of scammers i will never ask you to contact me by whatsapp or telegram i also do not invest money for my subscribers so please be careful don't get yourself scammed if you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks when you try out the Weeble brokerage app. All you got to do is put $100 into your new brokerage account, and they're going to give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out the app. There's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I went out on a date and I had forgotten that dating can be expensive. I went to dinner and man, my meal was a lot. Now I know some of you guys go out to eat quite a bit. I don't. I'm one of these guys, I go to the grocery store, pick up the food that I need, and, and I typically make it at home. And occasionally I may do takeout, but I'm not a big eater to begin with. So going out to eat is not really high on my priority list. I don't really get a lot of personal enjoyment going out to dinner. Now, some of you do, and that's okay. We all get our personal enjoyment in different ways. But even for a guy like me, who does okay financially, got a pretty decent net worth, inflation is out there still running rampant, especially when it comes to food costs. And I'm not knocking restaurants. I know they provide an important service in our communities in our nation and nothing wrong with these hard working folk who own these restaurants just trying to make a living because guess what inflation is hitting them in the head too so i get that so i'm not knocking restaurants or anything like that i am just not a guy who does a lot of eating out especially at night so i went out on this date and you know, I live in an area that's, it's a good area, but it's not a top 10 city. It's not Miami or San Francisco or LA or New York. So you don't expect dinner to be astronomical. And again, astronomical is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what you consider astronomical is. For me, it was astronomical. So we ordered some pasta, basically. It was a, an Italian restaurant we went to. And I looked at the menu and for, you know, it's noodles, 35 bucks for pasta. For me, that's a sticker shop because see, when I want pasta, I normally go to the grocery store and I buy it for two bucks. <laughs> I bring it home, boil some water, put it in the pot, add me some marinara sauce and I'm good to go. My meal is about $3 all together. So now I'm getting ready to pay 60 bucks just for a couple pasta dishes. Now here's the thing that really freaked me out. My date ordered a glass of wine. A glass of wine was 15 bucks. Now I don't drink, so I didn't order myself one, but my date did. Can you believe a glass of wine, 15 bucks? And again, guys, I know in New York, in Miami, in San Francisco, in LA, a glass of wine is probably three times that. But I'm just old country boy, man. <laughs> you know, I live in old country part of Florida. And a $15 glass of wine is just, 
it's enough to get you your heart racing and again you know some of you guys may say hey that's cheap not to me guys it's super expensive total bill came to about 90 bucks let's just round it off to a hundred bucks 100 bucks for two people to go out and have dinner in my opinion guys that's 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 a lot drop me some comments and let me know what you think about that do you believe that's a lot of money or do you believe that's that's just the going rate that's what you pay when you go out but that's why i talk to you guys a lot about needs versus wants Right? Food is a need. Going out to a restaurant to get that food is a want. And if you can't afford that, if you're not, if you're not where you want to be financially, then you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, fortunate for me, I can't afford it. But I'm still pretty thrifty when it comes to my money. Especially on things that don't really add a lot of personal enjoyment for me. Now, for me, the date itself was fine. It was great. But I'm more of a, let's get out and take a walk and spend some time together and talk and let's go hit a park. Let's go take a walk on the beach, right? Let's go do a little quick little picnic or something, especially when it's not too hot in the state of Florida. See, for me, that's more getting to know somebody and adds more personal enjoyment. The whole restaurant thing really doesn't. And that might differ for you, but for me, that's my take on it. 100 bucks is a lot of money. So I started doing the math. So you know something, if I took that 100 bucks and just the 100 bucks and I put it into an S&P 500 ETF for the next 20 years at an 8% rate of return, what would I end up with? 500 bucks, guys. $100 investment, leave it locked away for 20 years and an S&P 500 ETF getting at least an 8% rate of return annualized for those 20 years, it turns into five times what I invested. That's a lot of money that I have lost by going out on that $100 date. Again, has nothing to do with the date, has nothing to do with interacting with people. It has everything to do with how you spend your money. See, a lot of people get that confused. Oh, oh, you're, you're saying you're, you didn't have fun on the date. You, you don't value your date. I didn't say that. I said my date was fine. It's the money that I had to spend on the date, which was not okay for me. So let's not get those two mixed up. Because I think a lot of us do. Oh, I got to take the wife out. Oh, I got to take the husband out. Oh, I got to take the boyfriend out. Oh, I got to take the girlfriend out. We got to do things that cost money. Eh, not, not necessarily, not all the time. It doesn't have to cost money. Being together with one another and getting to know each other the right way is what it's all about. It ain't about you taking them somewhere to some expensive trip or some expensive dinner or buying them expensive presents. Got nothing to do with it if the relationship is going to work or not. So let's not get that twisted. So then I went one step further. Let's say I went out once a week on a date to dinner and it cost me a hundred bucks. That's gonna be about $400 a month, which is roughly $5,000 a year. Let's take that 5,000, put it in an S&P 500, lock it away for 20 years at an 8% rate of return. That's about $24,000 that that 5,000 will grow to over a 20 year period without me adding any more money to it now. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of net worth. So please be careful with your money. Drop me some comments out of the comment box and let me know what y'all think about my, my dating story. <laughs> Look at here, man. It's amazing, right? What we spend our money on. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weeble, gotta click on that link down in the description box. Open up that new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock, go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash that like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind and hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. Catch you on the next video. Peace.
Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.